you have a look at wild animals, you'll often notice that they have a very interesting colouring, like these deer. They're a beautiful brown, but really, they're two browns. There's a dark brown on top, and a light brown underneath. Kangaroos show it too, dark on top, light underneath. Well, that's common to lots and lots of mammals. In fact, here's a round skin, a museum preparation of a possum. And you can see just on the skin there, dark on top, and really rather creamy coloured underneath. It's a very common pattern of colouring amongst mammals. Cartoonists know it and they use it. You probably know these characters. And this one. And perhaps even this one. And it's not only amongst the mammals. If you ever caught a garfish, you'll notice it. A beautiful dark back and then a silvery underneath. Dark and light. And you can see it most easily and the fish which are really flattened from side to side, dark on the top, light on the bottom, even silvery on the bottom. Well, it's so widespread, it must have survival value, and it does. See, most animals are trying to avoid being eaten, or else they're hunting something else. Either way, they want to avoid being seen. And your colouring is going to matter a good deal, because the sun's usually shining down if you're going to be out in the daytime, or the moon is at night. And you can imagine if you are coloured light in this way, you may be in shadow underneath there, but you're in brilliant light up here. So you get very light on top, very dark underneath, and you're obviously a round form. It shows you up. You can easily be seen. Well, all right, you colour yourself dark. That might help on the top a bit, but underneath you become almost black. Either way, you're very obviously a round object. So what about changing your colour, becoming like this? Well, if you paint yourself white on top and dark underneath, you simply make the whole problem a lot worse. But make yourself dark on the top and light on the bottom, and you'll see what happens. The light and the dark colour cancel out, and the shadow and the light colour cancel out. So you start to lose that three-dimensional effect. You're not nearly as easily seen to be a live, round body, and you escape detection. You can pounce on things or avoid being eaten. It's a thing called countershading, and it's very common in the animal world.